Well, it's December 2nd. Welcome to our second Advent devotion. The theme today is presence. Today we explore God's ability to relate with our loneliness and the promise to never leave us. We begin on Isaiah 714. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. When God gives a sign, it's important to know a sign is something made to catch your attention. The sign is not that a young woman gets pregnant because that happens all the time. The sign is that a virgin will conceive and give birth to a son. That's a miracle. God specializes in bringing new life to that which is impossible. When you begin the Christmas story in Luke 1, we notice that barren Elizabeth in her old age conceives. Here, God brings life to the Virgin Mary's womb. Now, nothing is impossible with God. Emmanuel is a name for God, and it means God with us. God became one of us. He entered our world. His presence will never leave us. Now, I can remember one time walking along the ocean while the moon was shining across the sea. And as I walked along and looked at the surface of the ocean, that moonlight followed me whatever direction I went and at whatever speed I went. And so, to me, that was a reminder of how God's presence is always with us, no matter where we go um, or how far away we go. God's presence follows us everywhere we go. Now, Emmanuel not only points to his presence with us all the time, but also to his ability to relate with you. When my kids were young, I used to make forts with them out of blankets and pillows and all these things. And so once the fort was built, I would get down on my hands and knees and crawl inside and enter their world to play together. And they were just so excited to have dad in there. But God becoming one of us, is kind of like that. There, he comes down to our level to relate with us. But the one difference is that he was punished in our place. He was forsaken and alone on the cross so that you would never have to be. Unfortunately, we don't always remember that he is Emmanuel, God with us. Certain situations seem to magnify our feelings of loneliness, like when we're afraid or suffering, depressed or experienced loss, relational trouble, financial need, and we can list a bunch of different things that make us feel far away from God. Especially good times like the holidays can make us feel lonely. God's promise about Christmas is that he came so that you would never have to be alone. He will never leave you or forsake you. Psalm 27.10 says, For my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me in. His very name means I am with you. The best way to celebrate Christmas is to enjoy his presence always with you. With each one of these devotions, we're going to provide for you devotional thoughts and questions for you to do individually, as well as group discussions so that you can do those with your family or with a small group or with your spouse or a friend. And then after that, there will be some family ideas that you can do for family devotions each day as we experience Advent together.